Imagine, no one had ever seen the world like this before. And they couldn't be so sure that they would get down again. The technology was simple. Hot air is less dense than the surrounding air, so it rises. The upward force, or lift, of the hot air balloon is greater than the downward force of gravity. Now that's one problem. With a hot air balloon, you're at the mercy of the winds. And when you take off, you have no idea where you're gonna land. Now that's great for fun, terrible for transport. Still, it was a wonderful achievement. Where are we going to land? In 1947, the Antonov AN2 appeared. It's the biggest single-engine biplane in the world. Thousands of these were built in the USSR for passenger and cargo use. Now, biplanes are heavier than monoplanes. They're not as fast, but more maneuverable. It's beautiful. Well, absolutely worth taking it for a spin. Here we go. The Soviet Union emerged from World War II as a vast superpower, and it needed a large, sturdy plane to link up its many isolated communities. The answer was provided by Pieter Vasilievich Balabiev, who came up with this rugged workhorse of an aircraft. It's not fast, but it's very stable, and best of all, it only needs a short runway to take off and land. The Antonov could take passengers absolutely anywhere. But zeppelins are still with us, like hot air balloons. They're popular for pleasure trips. Instead of the inflammable hydrogen, a modern zeppelin is filled with helium. It's an inert gas, so it's much safer, I hope. <laughs> 